Hey y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I just wanted to film a little... This isn't a tutorial, this is kind of a get ready with me, but I'm not talking about much else besides the makeup. But I wanted to use my Melt Mary Jane palette on camera, because I mentioned that in my like favorites video. And so I wanted to do a look with it. And this is the look that I came up with. So I'm gonna show y'all how I did it. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the makeup. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna prime my eyes first. I like to do my eyes, because that means I don't have to worry about fallout going all over the rest of my face. If I were a better makeup artist, I wouldn't have to worry about that anyway, but I'm not, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna use my Milani eyeshadow primer, and we're just gonna hang out and do some makeup today and play around with my Melt Mary Jean palette. And I put it under my eyes because I feel like that helps me when I'm like extra smoky. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I even want to do with this because I know I want to wear this palette today, but I didn't plan like any look at all. So I'm thinking I'm going to do kind of like a halo adjacent sort of look perhaps. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to take this e.l.f. blending brush and I think I'm going to just start with Mary or Mari here and kind of make that my transition you sort of shade and my brush is shedding so that's great. This is honestly just like a very nice and easy working shade. I feel like with my skin tone being what it is it does a very good job of like okay that hair is just see do you guys see how annoying that little hair is? Just gonna be sticking up out of there and it won't like leave my brush. I'm just sticking that sort of like on the inner and outer corner on both like the upper and lower parts of my eye because I feel like the best way to get the mattes from melt to really work is to like kind of just work the lightest matte shade in the palette as like the base layer and then build it up um, deeper and deeper that way. And I'm kind of blending it out pretty far because I'm gonna make this like extra smoky. Because this is what I like to do with sort of my day off makeup anyway. Because like I tone it down for work like a little bit like a professional version of the makeup I like to do. I don't know why like that side got a lot smokier than this side but we're gonna build it up anyway. It's fine. It does not have to be perfect so it shall not be perfect. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go a little bit more in the olivey end of this and I'm gonna go with Gaspar next and I realize that this sort of palette is like named after all of like the different you know strains and weed related terms and I get that but when I see the word Gaspar I think um do y'all remember that show Brandy and Mr. Whiskers <laughs> Gaspar Le Gecko did any of y'all watch that show in the 2000s that was my like go to wash before school cartoon. Oh, and this is an Eco Tools blending brush. See how I said like when l that like layering does melt shadows really good um, in terms of like blending and stuff. This is what I mean. And if it gets messy, I'm going to be putting on like my foundation, foundation, tinted moisturizer on after this. So it's not going to be that big of a deal. And I'm not going to be connecting this in the middle because I feel like it just kind of looks cooler. Finally, I'm going to use this brush from the Melt and Beetlejuice collection and use the shade Sensimia. I think that's how that's pronounced. I'm going to deepen that up once more, but I'm just kind of, as you can probably tell, um, I'm like going in more and more sort of like small and precise each time that I do this so that way I don't get all of like one dark shade all over but it's very nicely blended out instead in my opinion. Honestly I think it could look cute even if I just like left it like that and added on you know some mascara maybe even some false lashes. 
I I want to wear more false lashes, but they still kind of scare me a little bit, so I'm not going to do that today. I'm not confident enough to do that on camera, but I did find some really good false lashes at the dollar store way back. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty good, like false lashes from the dollar store. It's good for those of us who are afraid of them. Um, I'm going to go back in with the first shade Mary, Mari, whatever. And I'm just going to go around the edges of what I just did, just to make sure that that kind of feels nice and blended before I go in with any sort of shimmer shade. I like to make a mess first with my eye makeup. I'd rather go too messy and clean it up than like feel like afterwards I didn't do enough. People are like, oh, less is more. I'm like, more is more. The shimmers in this palette are kind of difficult to work with. Uh, and I mentioned that in my favorites video, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of NYX glitter glue. I'm not going to use a whole bunch because I don't necessarily want this to be, like, I don't necessarily want this shimmer to be the 100% big star of the show. So I'm just going to put a very light layer in the center of both the top and bottom lid. So that way it will have something to stick to, but it's not going to be like full on cut crease or anything like that. Cause that's not what I want. That's not what I'm going for. And I'm going to use a shade Mary Jane here and I'm gonna try to apply that with my finger because honestly I feel like that's gonna make it apply better than me trying to like dig into it with a brush. Cause my problem with the shimmers in this palette are that they're either like something you have to dig into in order to really get them to work or they're like super, super flaky. So I'm just gonna, I feel like if I do this, I'm gonna give it the best shot. So I, I to kind of explain what I just did, I like tapped it on, but instead of like packing it on, I took one of my like dry fingers, one of my glitterless fingers and just blended it out. And I'm gonna put the rest on my lower lash line. And blend it out like that. And I'm gonna have to run and deal with the fallout afterwards before I kind of finish up the rest of my makeup. But once again, that's why I do my eyes first, you know? See, like, I think that looks really pretty when I do it like that. I know that it's not, like, clean, it's very messy, you know, but I feel like this is more fun than if I were doing something, like, perfect and precise, you know? So I'm just gonna blend that up with my pinky finger because I don't want it to be, like, too terribly defined. Okay, and I'm gonna go deal with the fallout and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up the fallout, I washed off my fingers, and as I was sort of looking at this look in like non-ring light lighting, I realized that I do wanna deepen up the inner and outer corner just a hint more because I feel like that would um, help the contrast because I think when I added the shimmer, it might've taken away some of that. So I'm just adding more of Sensimia, which is like the darkest matte shade. Um, and I'm just going in very, very lightly, adding a little bit more shadow. And I think it's just a lighting in this room, but this, like, obviously there's like nothing on there, but it looks like I got my eyeshadow all the way over there when I turned my head. So I feel like I just need to prove to y'all that I didn't do that. Okay, so I think that that's like pretty good in terms of eyeshadow. Cause right now I'm feeling like the eyes look really good, but my face is just like really, really red. Cause I did have to like rub it off my cheeks a bit, obviously. I'm just gonna add some mascara cause I don't wanna do too much more to this. Cause I like how this looks. I feel like if I work more on this, it's not gonna add anything sort of to the equation and I'm just gonna be overthinking it. <laughs> so I'm curling my lashes because I feel like that helps. And once again, I feel like this look would look really cute with like some false lashes if that's what you're into. I'm just not in the mood to deal with all of that. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I think I need to get more of this soon.
but I feel like this looks so nice. And I realize I haven't talked about my mascara in a long time, but for those of you who are new to my channel, I've developed a uh, God, that's gonna sound obnoxious, sorry. What I like to do for my mascara, I'll do like top and bottom lashes and then an extra coat on top, on just like the top half, because I feel like if I do two coats on the bottom, that's like a bit much, but I do like um, my lashes to be like extra, you know? Like I have pretty long lashes naturally. So I just want to enhance that. And I like really what this sort of look does to like the shape of my eyes as well. Like kind of making, you know, I have big round anime eyes <laughs> and this I think just enhances that in a really cute way. And I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. This is not me promoting ColourPop, this is me trying to finish off this product and then get something new when the time comes for me to get something new. Because uh, the other one that I have that I really like is my Summer Shade um, from the Lip R. And so it's a little too dark for me right now. And this I've had for a bit. I like to start my tinted moisturizer like at the center of my face and work outwards. Because I feel like that is the best way to get like the most natural finish to my face. And there, that's evening it out so the eyes look like less weird with the redness that sort of is coming naturally to my face in the cold weather, the chilly season and all of that. And especially once we deal with the lip situation, this will look really good. I feel like a lot of my looks that I really enjoy doing have become like trust the process sort of looks, uh, especially like with the Melt Mary Jane palette. It's like, you gotta trust the process. The ending will be good, but geez, it is not gonna look good until then. Now, this is what I've been using kind of generally for my face makeup. I think I am gonna try and expand my horizons when it comes to bronzer blush highlight again this year because obviously I'm pretty close to finishing this up. It's a noon palette from Midas Cosmetics in their collaboration with Neon MUA in the Dusk to Dawn collection. I just use the bronzer blush highlight with this. I haven't been using the contours much recently like there's nothing wrong with it. I just haven't been in a contour mood. And it's like super, super pigmented. Mm, that looks really good. My face is starting to look more normal. Like I don't do face makeup in like a particularly interesting way I feel. I'm gonna highlight now. Um, I mostly just wanted to like make sure I look like my face is there and that I'm not just like eyes and lips, you know, that I have more to my face there. Like to sort of connect here to here, you know? I don't know why, but there's like, I feel like this looks like there's a little extra bronzer that like in this area is like concentrated. I don't know what I might do here after I finish the highlight real quick. I'm just going to take the sponge that I used and just tap that over my cheeks because I feel like that does help blend because honestly like I'm I'm not as good at blending my face makeup as I am like my eye makeup. So I know I do need some extra help this time, sometimes, you know. And now I'm just gonna blush because that adds, that just like ties everything together. I like sort of doing it like that because I feel like sometimes when I do my highlight, that can look kind of like just like a stripe on the cheek. So if I do my blush last, that'll help like sort of blend everything together and connect the highlight to the rest of my face. We're gonna time travel back to 2014 Beauty YouTube. And we're gonna use Cashmere by Lime Crime. Because I know I talked in my previous video how I prefer um, the Luna one from their holiday collection because it's like a darker version of it. And I like a slightly darker, slightly more purpley version of it. And I still think that's true, but I think that this shade specifically goes with this eyeshadow palette really, really well. I feel like my other option would be like a dark brown or a black lipstick. And that would look really cool too. Um, but I'm kind of just feeling something a little bit lighter, a little bit grungier 
So we're just gonna, we're gonna do that and it'll be cute. Okay, let me shut up so I can apply my lipstick because I can't talk and apply lipstick at the same time. Okay, so this looks really good. Here's a weird thing that I don't know if anyone else gets. I noticed in sort of my time away from sort of doing my makeup on an every single day sort of basis when I was doing YouTube more regularly, um, that since then, when I try and apply like liquid lipstick, I still like wearing liquid lipstick, firstly. But when I like try and apply it, my lips like are extra sensitive and just get tickly. This isn't like a formula thing or an applicator thing because it's like my Velveteens, my uh, Black Moon Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, all the liquid lipsticks that I have do this when I apply them. But like my lips, it like tickles when I apply it. Not like tingly, not like the minty plumping lip feeling, but like just the applicator, the foam applicator on my lips feels like it tickles. Like, I don't know if the fact that I wasn't wearing like lip product every single day has like affected me like that or whatever, but it's just an observation. I don't know, has anyone felt like that? Okay, my face looks cute. I'm gonna pose like the TikTok girlies. <laughs> okay, I'm being goofy. I'm gonna probably need to get off here soon anyway, so I can go do things. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I'll see y'all in my next one. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye!